All right. So, it's very bright and sunny out here. I get this question a lot. Solar panels in series, solar panels in parallel, bad connections, etc. So, <clears throat> we just pulled out three little 22 watt solar panels out of the garage. <clears throat> They've been here for months and months. Some of them have got dust on, others are clean. So, if I put my meter on in volts, DC volts over there, I can see that it's 18 volts now that uh, the cameraman is standing in the in the sun for the solar panel you can see the voltage is changing okay so <clears throat> the voltage changes on the panel you can the voltage changes on the panel also with the amount of sunshine okay so that's point number one now you can see these things are very dusty okay so I've kept them dusty like this for a reason because I'm here to show you now Let's put these in parallel. So in other words, not in parallel, let's short out the solar panel. So now we're measuring how many amps. There's two components to watts. There's volts and there's amps. Okay. So the first thing is we saw 22 volts, open circuit. Then we're going to put our meter, <coughs> clamp meter, to DC amps. I'm going to zero it. And then we're going to put it just through one wire, like that. And we can see this thing puts out, when, when it's shining in the sun, it puts out 1.1 amps, okay? If I put shade over the panel, it drops to 0 0.3, 0 0.4 amps, all right? So <clears throat> so the question is, what happens if I put, you know, the, all the rage these days is lots of panels in series. <clears throat> so I've got three panels over here to show you what happens when you put uh, panels in series. So when you put panels in series, the voltage is going to increase, just like if you put D-cell or uh, AAA batteries in series, you get them in 1.5 volt. You put two in them, you get three volts. Three of them, 4.5 volts, and so you go on. So you can put them back to back and, and increase the voltage. The same thing goes with solar panels. It's just a solar battery. So <clears throat> connecting panels in series. Let me just get rid of these cobwebs for some of you arachnophobiacs. So <clears throat> connecting panels in series means connecting the red of the one to the black of the other. Okay. So, if any of you guys can guess how many volts we're going to get now out of these two. First one is 21 or 22 volts. I'm going to set my voltmeter to DC volts and put one plug on there. And this is going to show, obviously you want to put red to red, black to black, otherwise it's going to read negative on the meter. Okay, so <clears throat> now we're getting 43 volts. Okay, but now look over here. If I shade the panels, go back a bit, go back. If I shade one of the panels, okay, the voltage is dropping. If I shade both panels, the voltage drops. Now let's have a look at amps. So if I'm going to short these two wires out together and we're going to set it to amps. So now we've got 44 volts in a dead short with each other, okay? So now we're going to look at amps. <clears throat> we've got one amp as well. That's what we measured previously with the one, uh, with the, just the one solar panel. Remember the voltage is doubled. The amps stay the same in series. So the wattage still goes up because watts equals volts times amps. If we doubled the voltage and we kept the amps the same, it's double the wattage. Now, <clears throat> look at the shortfall now. What happens if you've got panels in series? If I just put shade on one, the whole output drops to almost nothing. You notice there from one amp to 0.5 amps. So in other words, the more panels you have in series, let's say there was a bird that crapped over there and there's dust on this panel and this panel is fine. It's gonna be this panel minus that panel plus that panel is gonna be the output. So in other words, panels in series, the, any weak panel in series is gonna affect everyone else. Just like a weak link in a chain, the weakest link of the chain affects the whole chain. So same way, series is like links, series links in a chain, okay? So <clears throat> these guys that are putting five, six, seven, eight solar panels in series that are going for um, high voltage systems, just bear in mind that the, any little defect in sunlight or any little bit of shade coming in there is gonna drop your output like a rock. For example, that little bit of shade over there is dropping it by 90%, the output, okay? So that's massive. All right, and there's dust on this panel as well. So, and I left the dust on there on purpose because that's 1.6 amps. Let's have a look there. And if I clean the dust off, okay. 
you're lucky that didn't change too much, but that's at 1.08 amps now. So <clears throat> that's 0 0.02 amps difference. And if you multiply that by the voltage, it adds up pretty quickly. Okay. So now we've put three panels in series. If you can guess what the voltage is going to be, hopefully. Um, let's go. Three panels in series. Okay, three panels in series, you're going to get 22 volts times three. Okay, this is pretty simple, straightforward math, all right? So now we've got 62, 62 volts, I don't know if you saw that, yeah, that's fine. But you saw the 62 volts, okay? And then if we short circuit these out again, how many amps do you think you're going to get? We zero that. And I can connect anywhere on a single wire. Also 1.5, 1.08 amps. So the slightest bit of shade again drops that to a rock. Drops it only 0.5 amps, all right? So <clears throat> panels in series is bad news for efficiency. If, if one of these panels has a defect in them, the defect is going to be multiplied by all the panels in series. Just like a bad link in a chain is going to affect the whole chain. So now if we connect the panels in parallel, and this is why sometimes around the 250 volt mark for solar panels, input is, is a good value. <coughs> That's fine. So if we put panels in parallel, okay, let's disconnect them all over there. So now we've got two sets of panels in parallel. Let's get rid of, okay, we're gonna do three sets of panels in parallel. Okay, let's do three sets of panels in parallel. So right now, I expect the voltage to be, any guesses? 22 volts, all right, because this one is 22 volts, this one's 22 volts, that one's 22 volts, and I've connected them now in parallel. <clears throat> and if we measure the voltage across there, we're gonna get, if I put red to red, we're gonna get 20, 20 volts, right, 21 volts, similar to what we had over there. Now, panels in parallel are more resistant to shading <coughs> and defects. I'm going to give you an example why. So, if we had a look, if we had to put this, now if we short circuit that together. If we short circuit that, and I measure across each panel, I'm still going to get one amp, right? One amp, one amp, one amp. But if I look across the whole group of the positives together, positive and I put all the positive wires together of all the panels I'm gonna get 1 amp 1.1 1 .1 amp plus 1.1 1 .1 amp plus 1.1 1 .1 amp now if I had to shade these panels you see if I took one completely out and and the cameraman over there is putting his foot over a panel as well <coughs> I'm only getting I'm only losing two panels but one panel is still fine okay if, if these were in series right now it would take them all out so this is why wiring too many panels in series is also a bad thing. It's, it's good having a good series parallel combination. So the 250 volt mark actually works out pretty well. Four panels in series on these, these bigger ones and two, panel, two parallel strings gives you some resistance to shading, okay? So <clears throat> you can see that's one amp plus one amp plus one amp, 1.1 1 .1 amp is that's your 3.4 amps and it's less impervious to shading, all right? So that's the difference between parallel and series. Okay.